Hello, welcome back in this tutorial series of Fusion 360 again. Today we will discuss how can we create this Spire Gear in Fusion 360 with the help of Circle Command, Pattern Command and Extrude Command. Spire Gear is the simplest form of the gears. As you can see in this diagram, the teeth of this gear is straight along the axis of the gear. So now before creating this Spire Gear in Fusion 360, first we discuss about the terminology of gear. So as you can see, we have already a module. Module is what? Then that is the ratio of the piece circle diameter to the number of teeth. So we have module is 10 mm. Now the number of teeth is 26. Addendum. Addendum is what? Addendum is the distance between the piece circle to the top of the tooth in the radial direction is known as addendum. And we have that is 10 mm. And detendum is what? Redundum is distance between the pitch circle to the bottom of the tooth in the radial direction is known as redundum of the gear. Redundum is 1.125 into addendum that is 11.25 we have. Then the pitch circle diameter as we know that that module is the pitch circle diameter divided by the number of teeth. So through this formula we can find out the, the pitch circle diameter that is a module into number of teeth. So 10 into 26 that is 260 mm. Now the outside uh, diameter or you can say the addendum circle diameter that is uh, this circle diameter plus 2 into addendum so that 260 plus 20 that is 280 and addendum circle is the circle passes from the top of the tooth no, is known as addendum circle and the circle is concentrated with the this circle. Now the next is your inside diameter or you can say the diameter of the addendum circle. So the what is the redundant circle? The circle passes from the bottom of or the tooth known as redundant circle. The circle is also concentric with the pitch circle and addendum circle. And we can find out the, in, the inside diameter or the redundant circle diameter. So that is uh, PCD minus 2 into redundant. So that is 260 minus 2 into 11.25 that is 237.5 mm is or inside diameter or you can say the redundant circle diameter. The circular pitch is what? The pi into a pitch circle diameter divided by number of teeth. So that is pi into 260 divided by 26 that is 31.4 mm is or circular pitch. Now we, we have to find out the tooth thickness. Tooth thickness is the circular pitch divided by 2 that is 31.4 divided by 2 is equals to 15.7 and we have the pressure, the value of the pressure angle is 20 degree. This is this one is the terminology of the gear. Now I will discuss the process to create per gear in Fusion 360. So first of all, we draw pitch circle, addendum circle, and the redundum circle in Fusion 360. The diameter of pitch circle is 260 mm. The addendum circle diameter is 280 mm. Redundum circle diameter is 237.5 mm. We will draw in Fusion 360 one by one. So here in Fusion 360 interface, first we draw. A circle of 260 mm that is our piece circle. Here I am selecting this plane. We draw a circle of 260 mm that is our piece circle. Now we draw another circle of 280 mm. That is our addendum circle and both the circle are concentric. Now the next we draw another circle of 237.5 mm. That is our addendum circle and all these three circles are concentric. Now we will draw a line that passes through this point at an angle of 20 degree. So just we draw a line here. Because our pressure angle is 20 degree, that's why we draw a line that passes through this point at an angle of 20 degree. Now the next is draw a circle that is tangent to this line. So first select this constraint that is tangent. Then from here select the center diameter circle. After selecting this center diameter circle, place the center point and that should be tangent to this line. So as you can see. 
this circle is tangent to this line we draw after drawing this circle select the arc command you select three point arc from here and or two thickness is 15.7 mm so place the first point of the arc here and the second point of arc at 15.7 mm on this circle and third point should be on this circle see so you draw an arc of 15.7 mm on this pitch circle now next draw a line that passes through this point and tangent to this circle so first select this constraint that is tangent then select the line command now place first point here and as you move your cursor on this circle a tangent sign will appear on your screen so as you can see place this point here second point and you draw another line now next draw a circle that passes through this point and this point will be the center of that circle so here i'm selecting this circle and place the center point of that circle here and draw a circle that passes through that passes through this point now again i am creating one more circle here i am placing the center of that circle and that passes through this point on the pitch circle after drawing these two circle here i am selecting the string command to remove some edges in this way this is our redundant circle i have uh, trimmed this circle by mistake so i draw it again and now i trim this one also trim all the curves here so as you can see we have this involved profile of the teeth and in this redundant circle we will create 26 copy of this involved profile about this point by the help of circular pattern command so here i am selecting circular pattern command here yes as you can see we are selected now this circular pattern asks about the object so here i am selecting the objects one by one these are ob our objects then select the center point here i am selecting the center point this one is our center point and then it will ask about the number of teeth or you can see the quantity of the teeth so that is 26 it will create 26 copies of this involved profile about this center point and as i press ok as you can see it will create the profile of a gear now we will trim these uh, is is one by one so here i am sele again selecting this trim command and select and remove these edges one by one After removing all these edges, as you can see, this one, this one is our one profile. Now we will finish this sketch. After finishing the sketch, as you can see, this one is our beautiful profile of the per gear. Now I select this per gear, and from here I can use this extrude command, and I will give it. A face width of 40 mm as i provide 40 mm face width of this gear 
it will create a gear as as you can see over here now i am selecting this surface create a sketch now i select circle command place the center point create a circle of 150 mm there press enter now finish sketch again go to home position select this profile again extrude it up to 20 mm after extruding it press ok select again this surface go to create a sketch again create a circle of 75 mm press ok finish the sketch select the profile again select extrude command give in negative 60 so as you can see it will cut a hole throughout hole and as you press ok it will create a beautiful gear in front of you a beautiful spur gear with the help of this video you can create a spur gear in fusion 360 thank you for watching video